good, everybody? It's your boy, Sir House of Jazz. Chicka, chicka. Jazz. Jazz. Back again with another one, two, three. Yep, I heard ya. I heard ya. Classic. You know what it is. You know what it is, man. Uh, this tune is called Second Chance, and it's by... Come on, man. This this, this a classic artist, Mr. L. DeBarge. You know what I'm saying? From the DeBarge family. Now, this is um something that... This is, I guess you could say, more of his recent material. So this is not something from the you know late 70s and the 80s. This is something that he's done... I guess I didn't check out the year, but um, I never heard this song before, and I'm starting to say that about a lot of these tutorials. But um, yo, this song is incredible. It's incredible. It's incredible. If you have not heard it, I urge you pause this video, listen to it, and then come back and learn how to play it on here. You know what I'm saying? Um, so I like to give a shout out to Mr. Ivan uh, Boris. Um, again, uh, thank you so much uh, for your patience, man. Uh, he put this order in back in March, and this is like August. So, man, um, he definitely been very patient. And um, so, let's 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 uh, jump into this now. Oh man, it's, it's, it's so it's it's got so much pretty chords in it. You know what I'm saying? So the song starts out with. Uh, Okay, so what you have, the first chord is just a B flat minor 11. So let me spell out the chord because this is where you need to have all your fingers. And all you got to do is just play each note, one note at a time quickly. Okay, so that's B flat, F, A flat on the left hand, B flat, D flat, E flat, F, an A flat on the right hand, and all you have to do is just go ahead on and go. Just play each note in order, just like that. And then you're gonna come down to, all right, double E flat on the left hand, B flat, D flat, E flat, and G flat on the right hand, and of course that gives you an E flat minus seven. And if you want to add this B flat in the middle, that's fine. And then you just do that two times. That's the intro. That's the intro. That's, that's all you got to do. All right. So then when you get to the verse, uh, you're going to come to just a B flat minor seven. All right. So um, double B flat left hand. F, A flat, B flat, D flat on the right hand. And then you're going to E flat minor seven. So you're basically playing the same chords as you did in the intro, but we switched the uh, inversion. That's just for the intro, that inversion. So um, your E flat minor seven is just E flat on the left hand. Double it up if it's not too heavy for you. And on the right hand, you have a root position. E flat, G flat, B flat, and D flat. All right. So you play those chords twice. And then you come back to the B flat minor seven again, this inversion. And then all you have to do is just take your left hand, drop it down to A flat. And what I would suggest you do just to keep it from being too heavy, you might want to remove the A flat on your right hand if it sounds too mushy so that's um i, I like to do that and then when, and, and if you remove it it's basically b minor over a flat okay b flat minor over a flat double a flat on the left hand f b flat and d flat on your right hand of course you have that option of still using that a flat if you want and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your left hand drop it down to g flat and, and you keep your right hand the same, and that actually gives you a G flat major seven. It's just an inverted, um, e, uh, yeah, G flat major seven. Double G flat on the left hand, F, B flat, D flat. If you decide to add the A flat, it just makes the G flat major nine. Okay. And then after that, you want to come down to a F suspended four. Double F on the left hand. You have an F, and you're going to... Um, 
raise your third up a half step, which makes it a suspended four, which is B flat. I'm <laughs> sorry. And then, uh, um, then you have a C. And then what you want to do is resolve that suspended chord by taking this B flat and taking it back down to your third. Back down to A. So suspended four, then bring it back down. In F major, okay? So you have... And then you do everything again. Now, okay, so now, so you do that the second time you do that, he's moving on to the chorus now. So you're still going to hit the F major chord again. So, okay, you're on your F suspended four. And then when you hit the F major chord, what you're going to do now is you're going to add a G diminished chord. Double G on the left hand, G, B flat, D flat on the right hand. Then you have an A diminished chord. Double A on the left hand, A, C, E flat on the right hand. Okay, so that second half of the verse is... That's how you play it, okay? So the whole verse... So the first time you just do that and da, 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 play it again. And then do that walk and then okay. And now we want the chorus of the song. So when you get to the chorus, she wanted now let me say this. The very first time he does the chorus. I believe from my memory, from what I remember, he only, I did. this is what he did. He went to a B flat minor seven chord, double B flat on the left hand. And then you have an A flat, B flat, D flat, and F on the right hand. And then he just went immediately, then he just went straight over to a, a E flat minor seven chord, double E flat left hand, B flat, D flat, E flat, G flat on the right hand only the first time this is like before he has the rest of the track playing is almost like just the piano like before the drums and everything comes in but every other time he comes to the chorus he throws in one more chord so he still would do the B flat minor 7 but then he adds this chord a B flat 7 over D so remember after the first verse you're going to hear like there's an extra chord in there when you, when you hear that extra chord this is it. It's a double D on the left hand, A flat, B flat, D, F on the right hand. And then you go on up to the E flat minor seven. So the first time you come to the chorus, you just do it that way. The second time you come to the chorus, like that, okay? Listen to the song. You'll hear exactly what I'm talking about. The first time, you won't hear it. The other time, you'll hear these that extra chord. All right. Now, the next measure, you want to go to an A flat minor seven over D flat. Okay. Double D flat on the left hand. And your right hand is G flat, A flat, B, and E flat on the right hand. Then you're going to play the chord again. Play it again. And then you want to go to... You can do a D flat over F, or you can add this B flat and make a B flat minor seven over F. So it's up to you. I think, yeah, I use B flat minor seven over F. So double F on the left hand, A flat, B flat, D flat, and F on the right hand. And then you want to go and, oh yeah, and all you have to do is just take your F, the double F, and bring it up to G flat, and then that puts you on G flat major nine. Keep the rest of your um, fingers the same. Okay. Then the next chord will be C minor 11. Double C on the left hand. G, B flat, C, E flat, and F on the right hand. 
then you're gonna move to a, a F7. And I guess we can do it this way if you want. <laughs> Double F on the left hand. F, A, C, E flat. Just in case you're curious to what I did, that what I had. I had F, C, and E flat on the left hand. You can do it that way or you can just double up the F. Okay, F7. Then you're going to do this walk. Okay, that's the little walk you're going to do. So that's a B flat. This is straight up B flat chord. Double B flat. Left hand. F, B flat, D on the right hand. Then C minor. Double C on the left hand. G, C, E flat on the right hand. Then B flat over D. Double D, left hand. B flat, D, F on the right hand. Okay, so so far, you for there's more to the course, but let's just break down what we've done so far. So let's pretend this is the second time we come to the course, and I'm going to put that extra chord in there that I talked about. So you got... That's what we have so far. Then you're going to go back to your E flat minor seven. We're still on the course, second half of the course. Double E flat on the left hand, B flat, D flat, E flat, G flat on the right hand. Then what you want to do is take your left hand, double A flat, and on your right hand, all you have to do is take your thumb down to A flat. That's it. And keep the rest of your fingers the same. You have an A flat 7 sus 4. And then what you want to do is you want to resolve that suspended chord by taking this D flat and dropping it down to C. And now you just have a straight up A flat dominant 7 chord. So you're going. That's all you're doing. Just. Okay. And then your next chord is going to be a D flat major 7. Double D flat on the left hand and then play an F minor on your right hand. F, A flat, C. Okay, and then the next chord, all you're doing is taking this C and dropping it down to B. And that gives you a D flat 7. Okay. Then your next chord will be G flat major 9. Double G flat on the left hand. A flat, B flat, D flat. And F on the right hand. Then you're going to return to your C minor 11, which we played earlier. Double C on the left hand. G, B flat, C, E flat, and F on the right hand. And then all you got to do is just take your left hand, move it over to F. And that's a C minor 11 over F, okay? And then the next chord will be the F7 chord. Okay, and I showed you two different ways you can play. You can either do F, C, E flat on your left hand, or you can just simply do double F. It's up to you. Right hand is F, A, C, E flat. Okay, then after that, you just play the intro again. You just play the intro again. Okay, so let's play the entire uh, chorus now. The whole chorus will slow it down just a little bit. So you'll have. Um, play the verse again okay so you then you go back to the verse then you play the chorus again now uh the second time that like i said after you you know you play the chorus the second time make sure you remember there's an extra chord to throw in there i already talked about that then when you're coming out of the chorus you want to go into the bridge so let's say so we got um uh, c 
minor 11 then put it over F and F7 then when you're going to the bridge when you're going to the bridge you're going to throw this chord in there before you hit the bridge B flat 7 double B flat left hand A flat B flat D F on the right hand okay so that's your chord that leads you to the bridge and then you on E flat minor 7 double E flat left hand B flat D flat E flat G flat on the right hand then A flat dominant 7 double A flat on the left hand A flat C E flat G flat on the right hand You want to do a D flat major seven, double D flat on the left hand, A flat C, F on the right hand. If you want to add this E flat, that's fine. It just makes it major nine. It's okay if you want to add that E flat. Good option right there. It might you know fatten up the sound a little bit adding that nine, that major nine. And then your next chord is going to be G flat major nine, double. Uh, G flat on the left hand A flat B flat D flat F on the right hand then you're going to return to your C minor 11 okay there we go double C on the left hand G B flat and this, let me just say this you can always skip this C right here or you can play it doesn't matter so it's up to you. Then you have E flat and F on the right hand. Okay. Then you're going to move to your F7 chord again. I showed you two different ways. Remember, either F, C, E flat on the left hand or just double up the F or F, A, C, E flat on the right hand. And this is the only time we played this chord, B flat major nine. All the other times we was doing B flat minor. But you want to go to a B flat major nine at this point. So you can do, uh, you can either do double B flat or you can do B flat and F on your left hand. That's up to you. Whichever one you want to do. Okay. Now on your right hand, you have A, C, D, and F on your right hand. Okay. And you know what? I, I would say go ahead on and just do the double B flat when you do that. Because I just thought about what the next chord you're going to play. So do it that way. This is my suggestion. Double B flat. Then take your right hand. Your next chord is going to be. This is an A flat add nine. And it's over B flat. Okay. So you still have B flat on the left hand. A flat. B flat. C. E flat on the right hand. Okay. Then your next chord. Keep your left hand on B flat again. And move it to a B flat uh, dominant seven on your right hand, A flat, B flat, D, F. So that's that's the chord that we use that led us into the bridge. So we play it again, <laughs> okay? And then we go back to E flat minus seven. Sorry about that. Uh, double E flat on the left hand, B flat, D flat, E flat, G flat on the right hand. Then all you have to do is take your uh, left hand and drop it down to double A flat. And on your right hand, all you have to do is take this B flat, your thumb, move it down to A flat. And there go your A flat suspended four chord. All the other notes stays the same. And then your next chord, you want to take your left hand, take it down to G flat. And on your right hand, all you want to do is take this D flat and drop it down to C. Okay, and that's just an A flat seven over G flat. That's all it is. Don't worry about all that craziness you see up there. <laughs> and then you want to come over to a F minor seven chord, double F on the left hand, C, E flat, F, A flat on the right hand. Then your next chord is this is a B flat augmented seven, not just B flat dominant seven, but augmented seven. All right, <clears throat> double B flat on the left hand, A flat, B flat, D, G flat on the right hand. 
then you want to go to E flat minor seven, double E flat on the left hand, B flat, D flat, E flat, G flat on the right hand. Then take your left hand, move it over to D flat. It didn't play everything else. So that's E flat minor over D flat. Then you want to come to C minor 11, double C on the left hand, G, B flat, C, E flat, F on the right hand. And then after you do that, you're going to do that walk again that we've done already earlier, which takes you back to the bridge. F major, double F on the left hand, F A C on the right hand, G diminish, double G on the left hand, G, B flat, D flat. Then you have an A diminish, double A on the left hand, A, C, E flat. And then you're back on the chorus again. You're back on the chorus. You know, it just, you know. And then when you're at the end of the song, at the end of the song, when you're at the end of the song, what he does is he goes, he, I think he goes like, and then he got the, just plays the intro again four times so let's just take a look at that ending when you're ready to end the song so you've done the bridge you do the chorus again and he's ending the song you have an e flat minor seven double e flat on the left hand b flat d flat e flat g flat on the right hand and you can kind of bounce your left hand and all you gotta do is take your left hand and go down to d flat keep your right hand the same okay so that's E flat minor, seven over D flat. Then you go to your C minor 11, double C on the left hand, G, B flat, this C is optional, E flat and F on the right hand. And then just take your left hand and bring it over to F. And that's C minor 11 over F. And then you just play the intro again, like four times. <laughs> Messing up, y'all. And then he just basically ends it on a B flat minor seven. He plays the B flat minor seven. And then he just hits it again so it sounds like first he does the b flat minor seven in this inversion i could be wrong it sounds like when he finished he just he plays this first double b flat on the left hand a flat b flat d flat and f on the right hand and then he literally just hits it and goes like that and it seems like he switched his right hand to f a flat b flat and d flat left hand still on b flat and that's how he ends the song. So um, very nice song, man. Like I said, very nice, very nice. Challenge yourself to see if you can learn this. It's some real pretty chords. It sounds real nice. Get your fingers. I need to work on my fingers. I can hear my fingers not, like sitting like I need, I need to get that muscle back up. Like I used to be able to do that stuff. No problem. All right, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.